Hello friends and welcome again to another AFK journey video. In this video we're fighting the alpha bear. I will show you the, the setup that I used uh, to actually get give me higher scores and to get past the 60%. Last time we did 40% I think and now we got to the 60%. Now of course I'm lacking a little bit behind because of levels and everything else. Now I want to uh, just highlight a point that was asked on my comment section before that there's uh, some players that are having uh, higher ranked uh, levels, higher levels than me and they are still behind in the, in, the, in the damages that they do to the bosses and they don't know why. I don't know why and they told me that they seen replays of different uh, free to play uh, teams and they didn't actually match their damages, still they're doing better damages than them. I'm myself, I'm free to play uh, right now and I'm doing these kind of damages and they're asking why. There's two two things that I want to highlight about. One of them is first of all your levels. Now even if you're higher levels than uh, uh, free to play you can do less damage if you have your equipment lower than them. Not only the seasonal equipment but also the equipment that you have on your main characters because these also add up so you're maxed at here the other levels will add up and multiply i don't know how is the multiplication or how is the summing of that this will add up now how to max these using your gold of course you're gonna uh, be behind on resources to max the other units but max them out after you max them and i showed them in a previous video it will be linked down in the description you can sell all of the equipment that you have, all the materials, to so upgrade these specific equipments and you will get gold instead of that. And when you claim your resources or your AFK stages, let's go and claim my stages. If you claim the stages here, you're gonna get some of uh, uh, the materials or uh, the equipment also for the normal story. As you see here, this is for the normal story. And the other one is for the, uh, that has this symbol on it. It's for the season story, okay? Uh, the red one on them. So some gears you will get them also, but now you don't need to recycle them even though. I, I don't know that, about that because when I go, I go to my inventory just like that and I quick recycle everything if it's for the, uh, for the season or not for the season. If it's not for the season, I'll get gold uh, uh, for that. If there's nothing and I'm gaining more, uh, 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 let's say, equipment from uh, off season from the normal season regular progress they will be sold automatically then you're gonna get the gold i'm not 100 percent sure for that but i think that this is the way it goes now other than that you have the resonance level you have these levels for you and you have the resonance level for your entire uh progress not related to the season of course if you max it out and you go go and convert that beyond 300 you're gonna get only diamonds but it's not that's not the point whenever you get levels here this levels adds up to the levels with the season that you have and it gets divided by some certain percentage and it multiplies so if i'm here if you're here in in the story or in the season you're at level 240 on your all characters and here you're at 290 this is a big difference when you go to bosses if you have this at 300 and you have the rest of your characters at 240 then you will check that you are dealing more damages this is how we recognize it with my players or my uh, friends that we did the calculation i'm at 307 they are at almost uh, 291 or something like that they are here at 250 240 between 240 250 and i'm at 240 230 same lineup same things and i'm dealing more damage why is that this is correlated to the resonance level to the equipment and now we have the charms if you completed sets of charms it will boost your characters massively with the damages like my Cecilia is dealing incredible amount of damage it's different than the ones that I've been doing I didn't record the pre and after but if you can uh, remove them I don't think you can remove them but if you get uh, like the blue ones try to put the blue ones remove the uh, the purple ones and try her damages you see her damages are very much lower and it's significantly boosted if you put the uh, the uh, elite ones because you're gonna uh, get uh, other enhancements such as this she will deal uh, five percent more damage 15 seconds into the battle then she will deal extra uh, attack speed 15 uh, or 15 attack speed points 40 uh, seconds into the battle which will massively be affecting your fight and your trajectory so keep that in mind charms resonance level and equipments work on season and uh, uh, off season all of them are calculated with each other and summed up to give you the best results and scores this is only I wanted to make it and or explain it for anybody that who's having like why I'm not dealing the same amount of damage and I have better uh, units or I have better ascensions or I have better levels than you these all correlate with each other and give you the best result now the lineup that I'm using here 
Uh, we're dropping on levels. Uh, I, I need to uh, maximize my characters. So I'm playing three molars, two light bears. I'm playing Corrin. As I said, Corrin is for me the one one of the best utility units. He deals good amount of damage. It's true damage. Plus he heals and shields your units. Plus he protect you. He's a very utility unit and he jumps around. It means he can work on every single boss in the game. Now, if you don't have this setup and you're free to play and you didn't get uh, Supreme Plus Vala or Supreme Vala or Mythic Plus, you can use Merrily instead. So you can play, uh, we can still play Corrin and you can play <coughs> Merrily. Where's Merrily? Here she is. She's what Mythic for me. Fight. She's not yet Mythic Plus. If she's Mythic Plus, I would play her if I'm not reaching the 50%. But after reaching the 50%, Vala here is, uh, goes, her damages go insane. She goes crazy. She's the second highest best damage dealer. And when we get more levels and more sustain on our teams, Vala will deal even more damage than OD on the boss. Keep that in mind. But when she drops a boss to 50%, she goes berserk and she starts kicking their ass. Now, you can play something else if you're completely free to play. You don't have Corin, you don't have Vala, you don't have Merrily. You can play still Cecilia. Now, who to add with Cecilia? I would recommend Coco for more sustainability. If you are good on sustainability and you can last at least for the 10 or 15 seconds to the last fight, you can play somebody else for damage dealing on this lineup. I would recommend highly a play either uh, Corin, Vala, uh, play Merrily, or play any unit that deals more damage. If you can, if you have New your Shakir bones. built, you New can play challenges. also Shakir because he jumps behind the boss. But I wouldn't recommend a melee unit. I would recommend a unit that doesn't deal melee damage. Let me test it with you here and check it with Elsa. I think Elsa deals good amount of damage with this boss. She's brain. She go into melee form. I don't know how it works. I'm gonna test it without her and I'm gonna test it with Coco so I can show you the very free to play lineup if you didn't build any of the premium units, which I'm talking about is Vala or Mythic Plus Merrily if you were working on Mythic Plus Odi. So here we go. And of course, I'm using the artifact which enhances the physical damage done. Now I have two magical units here, Odi and uh, Elsa. But or uh, Elsa, yeah, Elsa is magical, but I'm dealing a high amount of damage with uh, physical damage with Kruger and with Cecilia. So Cecilia here drops her golem, Mr. Carlisle. Uh, Elsa disappears. This is why I don't want to play Elsa because she goes behind the boss and she can't survive. And plus, she's not built up, she's at legendary, which is very bad. Now we drop Mr. Carlisle again, he got honeyed, and he still OD and uh, Cecilia are not honeyed. I think this lineup could reach you to the, yeah, it reaches you to the 50%, but it doesn't give you the 60, I think we can get to the 60% actually, because Mr. Carlisle is still tanking here, so we still have an, a unit that is melee in front of him, he will not deal his AOE and defeat us, and now we got almost the 60%, so this lineup works, Odi is still not honeyed and we're still dealing damage, 60%, here this is the free to play lineup with Alsa. Now you can drop Alsa, we'll check her damages. I don't think that she did a lot of damage even if they give her assassin or what. Uh, she did almost almost 1 million damage, which she didn't actually. She did uh, 88k, didn't even did uh, do 1 million damage. So you can replace her. And what I would recommend for you to replace her with is Coco. Coco will give buffs to the lineup, she will give you sustainability. If the attack buff from Coco is absolutely huge. This is what you want to consider on this lineup. I'm not playing Smokey here. You can play Smokey here, of course. And you can play, if you want, Rainier and drop him on, on, on uh, Kruger. Or you can drop him on Cecilia and let Cecilia the one to be tanking. But we're gonna play it safe and play it this lineup and use Coco in this position. Now, of course, I'm using this just to buff my Cecilia. You can play anything else. Now, the new one that we discovered is the Evocation spell. Also, will get you to 60% with this lineup as well, if you have it. I will not be playing it because it increases the crit and the attack, which is absolutely uh, uh, phenomenal, but it will give us the shields early in the game. If it was the shields that will be given at the fourth stage, I would recommend playing that. So we're gonna play this one. It's really good. Now, of course, uh, the best one to deal damage is this one. It will deal absolutely amazing amount of damage. It will, it will give you more HP and more haste. It means more attack speed to your lineup. This one is really good to uh, if you have one target to be nuked, which is good because it gives you defense penetration for everybody, physical and magical uh, 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 defense for your team so you can survive uh, from the boss. But this one also gives you physical and magical defense, but it gives you crit rate and attack, which is most important and valuable. Plus it will increase the physical damage that you deal with your lineup. Let's go and check it and check how much numbers can we do with this lineup. 
Hopefully it will be better than the previous lineup because we removed Ulsa and we're playing Koku. Koku will give us more buffs and give us healings and sustainability. Plus she will shield us. If you have her at Mythic Plus, your lineup is completely safe. If you're a uh, Kruger at Mythic Plus, your lineup is 100% uh, safer than ever and you will deal a lot of amount of damage. Uh, and I will show you the Vala team with the Corin, how it works. It works perfectly, it works very decently. And Corin deals a lot of amount of damage. Now, our uh, Coco died, but she gave us the buffs, so we deal that much of damage actually and continue surviving to the end of the battle. With our units, Smokey will die, of course, and Kruger then will go away. And we will have Odi and Sia for the end of the battle. As it happened previously on the last uh, lineup, our Mr. Carlisle is the one that is tanking and taking the honey. Uh, again, Mr. Carlisle, and he's dead now. And we did 60% again without uh, having uh, our... Uh, or we did almost, yeah, 61%. So we did even a little bit more da uh, damage because Coco deals oh, almost the same amount of damage with the survivability that she has. Uh, or less damage, but we did more damage on our units. Perfect. This is a very, very good lineup. Now, I tried Corin with this lineup with Cecilia instead of Coco. It didn't work that well uh, because we lose here on the 18% and we get it only to on. 12, You'll I think. 12% or 11%, 10%, which is really bad. If we I remove her, and we get the 14% here. 14% is absolutely nice. Now, I tried without her and I did Coco. Coco wasn't that good for my damages, it was good support for us to survive, but this lineup gave me the best uh, amount of damage if you want to go and do it. This is for free to play, you know, if you're wailing and you have better lineups and better units, I will highly recommend to go and check Pridewin. I will keep the link for their uh, website on the channel so you can go and check it out. They have a lot of formations and different strategies for end game content. Now for this lineup, if you're free to play and you build these units, this is the best. Now you don't need Karen at Mythic Plus. Karin works at Legendary, Legendary Plus, maybe, maybe less, but at Mythic, Mythic Plus, he will shine even more. Mythic Plus will be the pivotal point for him. So go and test it out, check it out with this lineup. Also, same artifact I'm playing because it will give us more physical damage, which uh, Vala capitalized on, plus Vala will start doing two damage if you have her at Mythic Plus or more, uh, because when the boss drops to 50%, she will go Berserk and she will give us the most damage. And this is how we conquer it, and you go about 80, uh, uh, I think 60%. The problem is, it's RNG. Sometimes Smokey doesn't survive because Karin gives the shield to somebody else. Sometimes Smokey survives and does his ultimate, will give us the most push for us to do even more damage. So here, everybody will take so much damage and will start dying, and Smokey survives. If he give us that buff again, he will go and we survive even more. Vala jumped in for the front line and she's dealing insane amount of damage as true damage because of her ultimate. If she can do even one more ultimate, that would be great. And she did. And we got a different score. We got 66%. And it will go Experience all more and more. Nasty. This is the uh, lineup that I was doing and uh, the most damage. And as you see, she almost... Uh, Odi was doubling her amount of damage and she almost started bursting and coming uh, through it. Look at Corrin. Corrin deals incredible amount of damage. Smokey, if he survives, he deals good amount of damage with his blue cloud. And uh, uh, Kruger is dealing good amount of damage. If you have him built more, he will be compared to the damage of Corrin, uh, uh, what he's doing, because it's physical damage and he benefits from his debuff on the boss. And yeah, that was it all what I wanted to show you. 66% was good. We did 66.4, 66.2 for this run. It means it's steady, it's stable, it's the same amount of damage that will carry you and give you the highest numbers. And yeah, that was it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, I thank you for watching. And as always, stay frosty. Peace.